This is solar coffee. It's not that different from regular coffee with the exception of I heated the water with this solar vacuum tube heater that I bought some time ago. This uh, is not a real challenging process. This gets parked into this parabolic mirror which was essentially made from garbage and some chrome tape. Uh, we'll talk more about this thing later but for right now I'd like to get back with coffee. So it seems to me that when you're making coffee there's only three things that's involved. One is how you're heating the water which in my case is using the evacuated tube heater. The second is what you're going to be making it in, which in my case is the coffee press. I think the coffee press is ideal for this application. They're easier to use, and I just like the press anyways. The last thing is coffee, whether you want to put milk or honey or sugar or not, or whether you want to have tea or even hot chocolate. I'm doing this in reverse so that you can kind of see what my results were before we start to talk about the process that I'm using to do this and we'll be moving into that right now. Three minutes before the previous clip where we actually had coffee this is what we were doing. We're making the coffee so we're pouring ground coffee into the coffee press and then we're going to be pouring boiling water from the solar vacuum tube heater into it maybe agitate it a little bit and then we wait three minutes for it to steep and then we've got coffee. This particular press is made of borosilicate glass. This is a Bodum unit, which is really kind of the quality standard for coffee presses. You can buy much cheaper ones. Um, however, they're using cheap glass, and you need to preheat the glass container before you pour hot water into it. We've got a limited amount of hot water to use, and we want it all to be coffee, and we don't want to waste any of it heating the sides of glass so that it doesn't crack. So this particular coffee press, borosilicate glass, very good. And in three minutes we've got coffee. So now we're gonna move on to the trough heater that I park the solar vacuum tube heater in and we can talk about that a little bit. If you look at the center of this mirror, you'll see that there's a blue tube. That is the solar vacuum tube heater. Some people call them evacuated tube boilers. Um, regardless they're pretty inexpensive you can buy them in bulk or you can buy individuals this cost me about 12 bucks um, shipping inclusive the mirror is a parabolic trough mirror which is made entirely out of cardboard ribs and that was covered with a chrome tape that's probably available at any auto parts store you can look at this a little bit closer so you can see the parabolic shape and you can also notice that I've got kind of a specialty cap on it with a thermometer in it. You don't need any of this stuff. You can fill one of these tubes with water, put a simple lid on it, and just leave it in a corner. Eventually that water will boil. It might take a little bit longer, but eventually it will boil. Um, my time to boil has been in the high 25s, uh, excuse me, high 25 minute mark, which seems to be a little, it seems to be a lot faster than other people are posting. There's a couple of things that I'm doing differently with this, and it's probably worth a separate video all by itself. I'll be putting an annotation in probably at this point to that video when it gets put together, and you can watch that. But for now, that's how we've heated the water, and this water gets poured into the coffee press, and the cycle begins anew where we all have coffee.